Good morning, friends. I didn't want to sleep for 45 minutes and then be awake for a couple hours in the night, but here you have it. Here I am up and getting ready to go for a walk, a nature walk. But it was too chilly, so I chickened out and come home. Come home to the house. Well, there, that's before I left the... Yeah, I was all bundled up except my face and my fingertips. There's frost over everything. It's really pretty. Frost is pretty. I like winter. I do like winter. If I'm dressed for it, if I'm warm enough. The sun coming up in the east over the truck, coated in frost. Oh, what a beautiful sight in our neighborhood. Hello, friends. There's my shadow. Everything's full of frost. Leave him a break. I see he found something metal to put over the ash pan last night. He was taking out ashes, so put that old tail paint off of a truck. Oh, she's in the chair. She's in the chair today, friends. I wonder what she thinks. <laughs> what she's thinking when she's sitting in that chair and she can't see me, but she can hear me making noises. <laughs> and her ears move and her head moves around like, Mommy, what are you doing? <laughs> but she doesn't get down off of the chair and come and look. <laughs> I love cats. Sorry, friends. I just do. I can't help myself. I guess she didn't do anything. My oldest sister gave me this quite a few years ago before the pandemic. I have on today black and white scarf that I crocheted. Black and white hat that I crocheted. Black and white and gray, I should say. And I crocheted these here gloves. Your fingers stick out the ends. So you can still do your phone or whatever. <laughs> We're going to go up and see the ducks. So it's almost quarter after 10. So there we go. The sun is out good and bright. It'll melt the frost off. Let's go see if we can see some ducks and ice. Got a lot of ice today. Tides must have been high. See the pretty ice? I heard something, but I don't see anything. I think it's the ice cracking with the tide going out. Yeah, that's what it is. I hope you guys can hear that. I smell diesel fuel. There was a man in here the other day trimming up this limb that fell off. 
I wonder if his tractor leaked diesel fuel in here. Anyway, he left the brush, took the wood. Sights and sounds of nature. Potato patty and nature. <laughs> Yeah, that's a lot of crackling going on from the ice. It's not very thick ice, but it's ice. Lots of branches down. too, I guess. I don't see any geese or ducks. I thought I heard some, but I don't know where they are. Yeah, it's coming in strong. I'm not going very far. It's just way too cold. Oh, there they are, way out there. Way over there. If you can see that white building, they're in the water between that and to the right. They're just sitting there. I gotta go home, I can't. It's too cold. Somebody must have lost a nice uh, GMC hubcap. Yeah, and left it there on one of the two wells. There's no water in either one of them. Well, there might be water in them, but you can, in the pack, you can't take, take out water and drink it. I don't know why they're here. I think the older one used to have a hand pump on it years ago. Peek-a-boo, peek-a-boo, we see you. I mean, you guys see me. <laughs> Some tall trees in here. Somebody dumped out their chicken bones and taters. Yeah. I wonder no animals got them yet. I might as well stay here for a minute. Well, probably won't be a whole minute. <laughs> Pretty scenery, huh? I can't wait until I get my phone back, my other phone. I sent it, it was sent away over a month ago. It was the 8th of December that we left it at that mobility store, Bell Mobility Store in Bridgewater on the 8th of December. And now, here it is, the 11th of January. My little great-granddaughter has a birthday tomorrow, but I don't remember if she's... I think she's going to be six. Six. I, I'm, I'm guessing six. That would be my best guess. That hound dog you hear, that beagle, that's that little tiny dog, friend of mine, <laughs> that comes in the yard and see, uh, says hi to me. Yeah, so anyway, I might as well stop this, and I'm going to do a little short here. The sun between the tree limbs. I'm getting ready to leave the park. 
just little where there were snow flurries yesterday just little bits here and here and there there's the little tree with the little tiny pine cones the branches are blowing in the breeze frost on the moss and the leaves Smoke was coming down, curling down around, coming to the trees over there towards the ground. That's a sign of a storm. What a beautiful sight in our neighborhood. I hope you can see the sparkling of those frosts. Patty, ain't no patty too bad at the old homestead. Yeah, let's go in. Uh, smoke, yeah, the smoke is too much for me. Let's go in. Let's get the key first. She's still on the chair. Good girl. <laughs> what a spectacle you are. Yeah, I shouldn't have wore those gloves with the holes. I should have worn my green ones with my fingers. Uh, covered up. Yeah. It's, well, it's exceptionally cold today. I brought potatoes and vegetables. Broccoli, cauliflower, and... Broccoli, cauliflower, and potatoes. Oh, no. Cauliflower. Brussels sprouts and potatoes. Yeah. I got cauliflower and broccoli here and that vinegar juice I can drink. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> Cat cam. She's quite a spectacle. Are you a spectacle? Oh, I forgot to bring the... Thanks, I forget my head it wasn't attached. I swear. But I don't swear, but you know what I mean. <laughs> this is the scarf that I crocheted. I didn't do this one. Well, it does have a pattern. It's got the black stripe down the middle of it. I don't remember how I did it. Somehow it worked out. <laughs> this is what we put on the snowman two years ago, two winters ago. Okay, so this is the hat. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is the hat. I forget that stitch. Now I looked up that long crocheting hook name and now I forget that what it was called now I gotta look it up again on oh, my land now I'll show you up better closer the gloves these are aggravating to make I'll tell you I think these are called alligator All or <laughs> it's like scales of a Dinosaur or something. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. I wear them like to town. I'll wear them to town. Even though I don't get out of the man or the truck, whatever. Earmuffs. 
sunglasses. They fit me good, but they hurt. They're hard on my ears. Yeah, hard on my ears. Let's use Dad's the thing Dad made to take boots off with. You stand on one thing, and then you take your heel and you put it in that thing. Wait a minute. Put my gaiters down. You do that, and then you just pull your boot off. Ha ha! I need one of them for over the house. I don't know if there's another one here or not. I think there was only one. Uh, it wouldn't be hard to make. Nope, it wouldn't be hard to make. Okay, friends. Let's check the fire first. Oh, look. Are you waiting? Are you waiting for Mama? Okay. Mom's gonna go get a couple of sticks of wood. Here we are right there. These woods feel damp. Yeah. All right, you're gonna have to move, you know. Dad said that you won't move, but you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to move. I'll open the draft. All right, you're gonna have to move, you know. Dad said that you won't move, but you're going to have to. You're going to have to move. I'll open the draft. There. There you are. You're going to have to move. I forgot the cat mitt that I unpackaged yesterday. I'm pretty sure I put the video out. She likes it right here. She used to lay on this thing when she was at her old house, didn't ya? Which was my homestead, my old homestead. Yeah, I don't know. I think my dad was born there, but I don't know. I don't know the story of the house. See, all these questions I wish I would have asked, but didn't think about them years ago when I was younger. Yeah, I don't know. Because daddy's parents lived in Osborne, so. Hi, Grandmother Harding. He lived in Osborne, so maybe Daddy bought that house. I don't know. He had it when Mommy and him met anyway, and he had a little store there. I started that conversation yesterday, story. He had a little country store right by, right on the side of the road where the, in the yard of the house. And he sold it to a woman in Little Harbor, and they moved it up down the street and up the street and over there on the corner. And she had it there for years while I was a teenager. I don't remember the store being at our house, but anyway, but I remember it being up there. I was in my teens and we used to hang around outside the store and it wasn't any other place. Uh, like it was just, yeah, down to the wharf. But anyway, daddy sold it to her and he used to peddle fish. When he had the store, he peddled groceries, like delivered groceries, in his panel van. And then him and Mommy used to dig clams. And we would all help. As soon as we could dig a clam, we was on the digging.
brings back memories. Well, he's going quite fast, but that's not how fast it goes. Yeah, they have to be a certain size. Oh, he's got a, a bucket with holes in it so he can wash the clams. That's a good idea. And they used to pay us, and we used to be able to buy stuff that they couldn't or didn't want to buy for us. I remember I, Mommy and I went half on my, first, my dress that I wore to high school. It was size 14 and a half. I was chunky then in my 130s, I think. So, well, now I go between 139 and 145. So, um, chunkier now than I, I don't understand that, but I was 14 and a half thin size. And now at this weight, I'm a hundred and, <coughs> excuse me, a size 10 and small on top. So I, I don't understand that, friends. And, and in 1980, when I was, weighed 118 pounds, I was size 910. And that's about what I am now. So, I don't understand. When are you going to get up out of here so Mom can do the fire, huh? This can't be all kitty cam. This has got to be fire cam, too. <laughs> he says he has to boot her right out of the way. She won't move. Will ya? Well, you seen her in the dirt pile the other day. She wouldn't move. Hmm? Hmm? She's not trying to bite me today. I don't know how come. I'm petting her with this. Maybe this doesn't make her get electricity. And it'll keep that fur off of my hands. Because it gets on my hands and then I pick up my tripod and then it's all full over my pink tripod. Yes. You little fur baby. You big fur baby, I should say. You're a big fur bit good. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha. She must have got tired of it. I was getting tired of it. Here, off. There we go. Fire cam. Kitty cam. She's here. Rub it against these sticks. Yeah, these sticks aren't as dry as the ones in the barn. We should have been putting these in the barn somewhere else and burning what's in the barn. But this is burning good, though. And it's not that cold in here, so... It's okay. It's okay, Callie. It's okay. I'm going to throw one more in. He did a real good job taking the ashes out. He left just enough. Yeah, you got to have some. you got to have some. There, that's it. What do you think of that, friends? I'm going to go turn the kettle on. I'll open the curtains out here. It's a beautiful, frosty, sunny day. Green tea today, friends. Green. Green tea today. <laughs> he peeled some uh, carrots and onion for me. I'm going to use my NutriBelt machine and make uh, homemade uh, raw vegetable broth. You rig up a different lamp out here. Take carrots, onions, and two small ones to cut. More now. I want two small ones. I don't know what that means, but anyway. He, they're over in the fridge. Notebook. That's his list. Now what's this? This light that you broke. Ha! fix the light that I broke. If you can fix it, I'll put it back up, or if we can find a shade for this. Yeah, okay. So I don't know. Oh! Oh no, I dropped the screws down there by the table. 
on the other side of the table. I'm in trouble now. If this broke, it was ready to break. I didn't do anything to it, except turn it on and off. He's the one that said there's something wrong with it. that white thing. He said there's white things that aren't good anyway. No, this is, this is old and broken, so we need another. He said he would lose, use this lamp here. We got them, might as well use them. Uh, I can't remember if we got them off the side of the road or, but they work. They work, so this thing is going in the garbage. This here thing here, lamp thing, it was, he has, uh, his father had it bolted or screwed to the top shelf there. We'll find something. I thought it was going to be colder in here today because it's a cold, cold day. Is that enough of the fire cam? Here she comes. I suppose you want to play with this. <laughs> she wants it. <laughs> I'll put it on the floor. He'll think she stole it off the table. <laughs> yep, friends. We got a good fire going here. Ha! She's playing with it. Good girl. Don't think she stole that. <laughs> oh yeah, these are heavy. And damp feeling. But they'll burn. They're burning. They're not green dry. I mean, they're not green wet. <sighs> Whoops. Okay, friends, is that enough? Did I plug that kettle in? It's okay, it's only mom. Poker. Don't worry. No, I didn't turn the kettle on. Ouch, yes I did. Ha! Ow! Ha! <laughs> Friends. Oh, I gotta leave the cupboard door open. Yeah, I, I got all kinds of food here today. He didn't eat the cabbage and carrots and onions that that I cooked that he had in the fridge there in water. He didn't eat those, so I'll eat them. There we go. That should be good, friends. That's a nice fire. All right, that's it. that's it. Oh, friends, she lost a whisker while I was rubbing her hair. She lost a whisker. Bless her. You lost you lost a whisker. Are you gonna be okay with one less whisker? <laughs> She's going up there now. All right, I'm gonna close this up. I can't ever do that. Okay, friends, let's turn this draft. Let's see what the temperature is in here. Oh, I gotta put my glasses on. Can't see. Oh, it's 24 and 76.
Yeah, well, I thought I was going to have to start this other stove here, but I didn't have to. Oh, he did have a fire in it. Probably last night when he was taking out the, because it was cold. Yeah, last night was a cold night. <gasps> no. He put something where my uh, camera always sits. <laughs> when I'm standing here. Earrings of the day. Compliments share and simply southern. I'm back to wearing regular, regular jewels, bling, necklace, amethyst, I think it's called. Compliments of share and simply southern. And I got purple and pink, so I got purple and pink jewelry. Purple and pink. Yesterday you could see them sparkling on the video. I don't know if it was the, the video I edited or the, it must have been the video I edited. I could see them sparkling. And, uh, yeah. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Are you a diva? Are you you're too famous? Yeah. She's YouTube famous across the world, friends. There's a lot of kitty cat lovers in the world. I left the tea bag a little too long while I was yapping. While I was yapping. There we go. That should be all right. All right. What am I going to do? Maybe I should give him some broccoli and, and Brussels sprouts in this to take in his lunch tomorrow. Get a fork and a spoon. I'll boil them. Uh, yeah, that's no good. That thing is no good. See, I got four potatoes here, four small potatoes and broccoli and Brussels sprouts. Cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. Ooh, they stink. Ooh, don't they stink? They do stink, friends. You know it, and I know it. He likes the Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. So, and I got other vegetables here to eat too, so. Oh, he likes the smaller Brussels sprouts. So I'll see if I can, there's a little one. <laughs> now I'll put that in the fridge. I wonder if he'll see them and take them. Here's my pickled Brussels, uh, call, uh, cauliflower and Broccoli. It's gone in the garbage. But it must have been ready to break because I didn't do nothing to it to break it. So there, hun. It's only 11 o'clock, so I could chop them up, though. What do I do with my glove? I, I hung my glove somewhere so that he wouldn't bother it. And I forget where I put it. All right, this is boring. I think I might go live again while I'm cutting up my vegetables and eating my lunch. Brunch. I didn't. I'm just going to do it tomorrow while I sweep and eat. There. She likes to lay in that sunbeam. There's my potatoes and vegetables. And there's the ones that I had in pickle juice overnight. I'm just finishing. I played about six games and I won two. 
<laughs> Did I wake you? Sorry. I've got to check the fire before I go. Oh, <laughs> she's had a hard day. She's so tired. She likes being in the sunbeams, don't you? Oh, nice yawn. <laughs> Sorry, did I wake you? <laughs> You're so sweet. What a sweet girl. Just before I was leaving. Oh, my gracious. Ah, What a sweet girl. Mom's getting ready to go. Ugh. I think they should take off. <clears throat> I'm going to swap up around the stove. I'll do the whole floors tomorrow. Tomorrow. <laughs> you are something else. <laughs> okay, friends. I'm going to get ready and go. I'm leaving. Leaving on a jet plane. Get the fire going for Richie. So it'll be warm when he gets home from work. He always goes to the house first. Check the fire. Good girls. Home, I'm home. There's the smoke coming out of the chimney. See how it's going down to the ground? Yeah. It's a sign of a storm coming. It'll be warm in there for when he gets home from work. And he'll catch the fire. This is when I got home. This is Egypt. I take my vitamin B every other day, if I remember. There's my potatoes and peas and corn. Um, mingled and married. Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. Uh, mingled and married. I finished my main course. Now I'm going to have dessert. Pickled beets, bread and butter pickles, and olives. Yum. Friends, if you could just subscribe and hit the bell and give us a thumbs up, it would help us.